How's it going? And well, continuing with this small line of mini courses in which, well, I haven't configured my camera yet. In the last video, we saw how to establish another path in which to start our Git bash. Okay. A different drive? For example, any other location you want to set? Well, so what are we going to do? Well, I've already set up my Git bash. In fact, I cloned one repository of the ones I have here for testing. When doing the S, we can see that I cloned myself. Portfolio, of course, okay. But I'm telling you, the idea here is for you to stop using the file explorer so much since you can do all of this just by using Git bash. Okay, so instead of opening documents, navigating here, there, and everywhere, and then right-clicking and opening with code. So you can just navigate to projects. In fact, we can do it from scratch so you can see that it doesn't take that long. Here I can open Git bash. So I'm already here. In... Sophie Depp, okay. It's the same thing we did a little while ago with the file explorer. In this case, I just need to do CD and tell it that I want to go to documents, slash, projects, slash, portfolio clear, and here I'm passing another concatenated command. I tell it to open portfolio, right? For this, I type the word code space period, and then I hit enter. So we can see that Visual Studio Code opens up automatically. I'm going to make the letters a bit bigger so you can see them. Okay. And well, these are some messages from some extensions, but don't do them case. Okay. So we already opened our Visual Studio Code with Git bash. Okay. So what I want is to keep this terminal here in my Visual Studio Code. For that, we can click here where it says terminal, uh, a new terminal, which would be the same as if I did it with my keyboard in Spanish, Ctrl Shift plus the letter Ni. And you see that a terminal opens up automatically. You can do the same by clicking here on terminal, new terminal. And what's the problem here? Well, as you saw in the title of the video, we need to set up Git bash as the default terminal for Visual Studio Code. For that, what I need to do is click here where it says more. And here, you see that it opens up again for me, PowerShell. But right here, we have a little toggle. If I just click there, I see that it shows me several options. I could click here where it says Git bash and it would open Git bash for me. Exactly. The same as I have here. But that's not the idea that we're doing that every time. So what we're going to do is click here again and we're going to select default profile. Select default profile or default. This little tab will open up. And here we're just going to say that the default terminal will be git bash and that's it. Now we can close all of this. And if I open the terminal again, we see that now it opens git bash by default. So here I can start running all the commands I've always used. I can even do a git status to see the changes. We see that right now I haven't made any changes, so there's nothing to push. But if I add an enter here, that counts as a change. Okay. If I do git status, we see that it already identifies it. Git bash. Okay. So it would just be the same process as always, which is a git add, git commit, etc. Okay. Right now we're not going to push those changes because this... It, brief tutorial is just to set up git bash as the default terminal for Visual Studio Cloud. As you can see, it was a very short tutorial and it was pretty simple to do. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and share it with anyone you think might find it helpful. See you in the next one. Bye bye.